So what brings you to my mansion? As you probably know, I work as a bouncer at Rich Smith's nightclub. Before that, I was a drug dealer, seeking to make myself rich like my idol Pablo Escobar. He was so powerful that even the Colombian government was afraid of him. But I got busted in a sting operation by the Tulsa police and sent to prison. Rich was the lawyer who defended me at my trial. I served time for four years, then when I was released Rich offered me a job at a nightclub he had recently bought part ownership in, knowing I might not easily find work elsewhere. He wanted me to not deal drugs again. So why come to me now? I overheard you making an offer to share your wealth with Rich if he became your lover again. But he is too scared of Sandy now. I don't respect such cowardice. People who are unwilling to take advantage of opportunities to get ahead end up with nothing. I still want to be rich someday. I could be your new boyfriend, willing to do whatever dirty work you want me to do. Rich only pays me a minimal salary. I assume you can offer me much more. Indeed, I could certainly use someone like you. But I have one condition. Name it. For now, you continue working at Rich's nightclub and feed me information about his and Sandy's activities. Sooner or later I want to get rid of both of them. You help me do that, I will reward you. Hey, cutie. I got two tickets to a disturbed concert this weekend. Want to come? No, Matthew. You know I am taken. Plus I am a lesbian, so by definition I would not be interested in a guy like you. Plus, I don't like that kind of music. You are so stuck up. I'm offering you a good time. Only for you. Why not learn to take no for an answer? And did you approach me again after being rejected by a dozen other girls? What's wrong? You look like you are going to vomit. It was Matthew Lenredo again. Every time some metal band comes to Tulsa, he tries to get a girl to come with him to a concert. That damned insult. I remember Ophelia telling me about how she went with him and when they went to his car after the concert, he tried to take her to a park late at night. She refused to have sex with him and threatened to tell her father about him. Her father being a police officer scared him. My father is a lawyer and a nightclub owner. Not as intimidating, but... He wouldn't tolerate Matthew repeatedly coming on to me, that's for sure. <coughs> Speak of the devil. Maybe the three of us can form a new club at the school, enemies of Matthew Leonardo. It would be huge.